Hey guys, I am ICTPW and Forge for 1.14.2 has just dropped. So now you'll be able to use mods on 1.14.2 either on your single player world or on a server that supports 1.14.2. And mentioning servers, you can join me on Isilcraft. It's isilcraft.mcpro.eu. It's 1.14.2 world and today we're going to be installing Forge on that and we're going to be bringing mods into it as well. So if you want to check us out on that server, then please do. That would be great. It would be awesome as well if you found this video useful and you would like to see more tutorials like this, then it would be great if you subscribe to the channel and hit a like on this video. Also, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you did find this useful or if you got stuck and I'll try to help you out. Also, stick to the end of this video because there's going to be a few tips that if you get stuck when you're downloading Forge. Okay, let's get straight into this. The first thing I would say is that if you don't have Java on your PC, then you need to download Java. You need to have Java for the mods, for Forge for your PC. So you'll need to go to java.com and go to the download section, link in the description of this video and download or update to the latest version of Java. Once you've Java installed or if you already have it installed and updated, then just go to Forge in Google and go to files.minecraftforge.net. Again, link in the description. As you can see here, the Minecraft version 1.14, and if you click on the plus there, it gives you to 1.14.2. We're going to click on that, and it's going to bring us to the download the latest version. And once we've clicked on that, we're going to click on installer. And you can see down here on the bottom left of the screen, it says here, this type of file can harm your computer. This is because it's a jar file. Jar files are not harmful for your computer. However, some people use them to hijack viruses. Only use reputable websites like Forge. We're going to press keep on this. And you can see here that we've got the Forge folder. When you click on this and we get this mod system installer. And what we want to do is make sure that install client is highlighted and press OK. And once that has downloaded all of the libraries, you should get a message that says complete successfully installed client profile Forge for version 1.14.2. You can just press OK on that. And we open up Minecraft and we go to our launcher. The first thing you need to do is go to your launch options. And make sure that this button here that says advanced settings is turned on. If it's off, switch it on. And then we're going to add new. And then we're going to look for the Forge version that we just downloaded. And we see here release 1.14.2 Forge. Just going to click on that. The next thing then we need to do is change the resolution and change the JVM arguments. You need to change the resolution to the resolution of your monitor. So whatever your resolution of your monitor is, you need to change this here. So if it is 1920 by 1080p for 1080p monitors, then put in 1920 by 1080 here. The next thing we need to do is go to JVM arguments. This is the amount of RAM that you allocate over to Minecraft. What I would recommend is that you use half of your RAM in your PC. So if you've got 8 gigabytes of RAM in your PC, then use 4. If you've got 16 gigabytes of RAM in your PC, then use 8. You shouldn't need any more than 8 gigabytes of RAM. I've got 32, so I'm going to leave mine at 8. Make sure that both of these buttons are left switched on. And then we press save. Then we go back to news. And then we're going to click the arrow here in the side of the play button. And we're going to find the version that we just Changed. You can also change the icon here if you wish. Mine says unnamed configuration 1.14.2 Forge. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to press play. And Minecraft is just loaded up. You can see here in the top it says warning Forge beta major issues may arise verify before reporting. And on the bottom left hand side of the screen here it says Forge 26.0.32 so we can see that Forge has been loaded. So we now know that Minecraft has got Forge built into it. We're going to press quit again because now we're going to get a mod and we're going to put a mod into a mod folder. So now we need to download a mod. So we're going to type in Curse Forge here into Google and it's going to go to curseforge.com. I'm going to put a link in the description of this website also. You can go to Minecraft, you go to mods. Then we're going to all versions, pressing the down arrow, and then going to 1.14.2 and press filter. And let's find a mod here that would be a good mod to start with. Gravestone mod is a good mod. What this does is that when you die, it will leave a gravestone and your items are retrievable in there. So if you don't have keep inventory on, this can be very handy. We're going to go to download for 1.14.2. It's going to bring us to the download page. You can see here it's for the supported version of Minecraft 1.14.2. Supported Java versions, Java 8. We're going to press download and it's going to say this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep gravestone? Press keep. We're going to press the up arrow here. We're going to go show in folder and it's going to bring you to our downloads folder. So what you need to do then is just drag it onto your desktop. 
Now what we need to do is put this into our Minecraft mods folder. When you download a forge, it should have created a mods folder in your Minecraft folder. To search your Minecraft folder, you can do this two ways. You can type into the bar up here, percentage, app data, percentage, and press enter. And that should bring you into your roaming folder, where then you can go to dot Minecraft, and then go to your mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder here, this should be listed alphabetically. You can just go to new folder and type in mods. But I already have a mods folder here, so I'm not going to do that. So there's a mods folder here. You can just drag the mod directly in here from your desktop. If you can't get into your mods folder like this, just go to your hard drive, go to users, go to your username, then go to app data, roaming, dot minecraft and then your mods folder and just bring your mod in there and then we're going to launch up minecraft again and once you've dropped the mod into your folder you just launch up minecraft again with forge you can see we have forge installed here and it says two mods loaded if we press on the mods button here it will show you that we have the gravestone mod installed so now we're going to go back into our single player world so we just now need to die so i'm going to put on some armor here i have my sword and yes, I'm going to have to die now. And I'm slowly dying here. I've just died. Isle TPW drowned. Respawn. I'm back at my base. It's given me. Oh no! Don't to die again! <laughs> no! I nearly died again. <laughs> yeah, I got my bed. Thanks, creeper. We got this note here that says death info. Name, Isle TBW, Dimensions, Overworld, Time, and Location. So if you forgot your location, you can check that there. I had a diamond sword, diamond boots, diamond leggings, diamond chestplate, and diamond helmet. So it lets me know what I do have inside in my gravestone. So I'm just going to get a pickaxe here. I can see it. The coordinates, I got my ex some XP back. Coordinates are minus 179, minus 354. Is that correct? Minus 180, minus 355. Yeah, pretty much spot on here. So now we just need to mine this up. And we just got our stuff back. That is the first mod that I've installed here. And I think that is a really great mod. The only thing I really lost is some XP. So guys, that is how you download and install Forge and mods from Minecraft 1.14.2. Go check it out. There are some fantastic mods out there. And there's a lot more mods to come from Minecraft 1.14.2. I really hope that you found this useful. And again... It would be great if you checked out the server at isocraft.mcpro.eu. At the beginning of the video, I said to hold on right to the end of the video because there's a few places that people get stuck and that people get worried about. I get a lot of questions about, are jar files safe? Java Archive jar files are simply zip compressed bundles of files. A site that serves a file with that type is essentially promising that it has vetted the content that it is in fact safe to download and execute. Any other file type results in an unsafe file type error. A lot of comments that I get in my video, I'm stuck, it's crashed, or it's not working. One of those reasons could be that you have mods in your mods folder that are clashing. If you have mods in your mod folder for different versions, it could be 1.12 or 1.14 or 1.13, these can clash. You can see I have lots of mods in here for for example, for 1.12, 1.8.9, I have a lot more mods. If these mods were in my general mods folder here, in the Minecraft folder, if I have mods in my mod folder from a different version, so I'm doing this for 1.14.2, if I put a mod in here for 1.8.9, and then I launch up Minecraft, I'm going to get an error, because it cannot read that mod for 1.8.9. So make sure that you don't have clashing mods in your mods folder. Another reason why you might be getting errors is the mod that you're downloading may require a prerequisite mod. And what do I mean by that? Some mods won't work alone. So for example, this Craft Presence mod here requires Craft Presence for Minecraft 1.14x requires the Fabric MC mod loader. Some mods require another mod to work. So that could be another reason why your mods are not working. And that is how you download Forge and mods from Minecraft 1.14.2. I really hope that you found this video useful. If you did, it would be awesome if you left a like in this video. And if you would like to see more videos like this, then please hit that subscribe button. That would be great also. If you also want to join us on our server, it's isilcraft.mcpro.eu. 
it would be great to see you on there it's a minecraft 1.14.2 server and from today it is going to have mods guys that's it for me thank you so much for watching i'm isol tpw bye bye